over 100,000 deaths occur in Nigeria annually because of indoor air pollution. It is Nigeria's silent killer. Cooks in hundreds of thousands of secondary schools and other institutions have their lives cut short by smoke from open fire. This is also a source of harmful gases that cause global warming. Over 10% of school food budget go to buying wood. With support from USAID Nigeria, iSeed has successfully manufactured and installed highly efficient wood stoves in 56 secondary schools in Ebonyi in Niger State. 85% wood saving completely eliminates smoke from the kitchen and saves 85% of wood costs. With license from Instove of Oregon, USA, iSeed has set up a production plant. These continue to train owners of small and medium enterprises and technicians. But I shall use Uncle before before. One area I am from Kahai Lishinu. One area I am from Uncle, but I am from Uncle. On a book by a week, and you should chat trip. Manasin said you didn't put in car. I ain't a sheet trip, Uncle, he had a catim now. On our last line, Bonco, or for more for my. Uncle, he had a put a line, I ain't a year, Caleb, Pulich, Nina, Omen, I ain't not in it. I never had a quiet day, the kind of before. The stove have already alleviated most of the suffering we have the country here. So, with a little firewood, you can cook food that can take care of 250 to 300 students in a day. I remember when I was in Nishinanko, I was in a thousand years ago. 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 Nanyanyu <laughs> Mana kita ewe tere, nko gbara ohura, ezi bu ihe di chedi, onwora zi ihe di ka anwa roko, onwora zi ihe di ka oko kumo ko anwa, iwo ko anwa ene ngwete bumbu, onwora zi ihe di ki akita. Very economical, especially in the firewood issue, especially during the rainy season. So, and it keeps the place clean. Uh, you will not get charcoal anywhere. Even the smoke coming out from the charcoal, goes directly to the chimney constructed. It is a very small quantity of wood. You can use it to cook a food for a population of 200, 300, 500, as the case may be. If you are making use of the traditional stove, the wood, you may get blind easily because these people are cooking from morning, four o'clock they start cooking, down to seven, uh, six or uh, five o'clock every day. So without these two, I don't think they will survive. Before then, we spent much in buying firewood. But now honestly, the cost of firewood has reduced up to 50%. Uh, Health-wise, our cooks are now safe. Uh, Cost-wise, the school, it costs the school less. Before we are buying one drop of firewood to be used for one month, but now if we buy that one uh, drop of firewood, we we'll use it for the whole time. Honestly, it has greatly reduced the amount of firewood we purchased in the kitchen and it has also reduced the health hazard of our, of our uh, cooks. In fact, in the past, there is no week that will not have uh, uh, complaints of sickness 
by our cooks. But now, with the provision of the energy efficient rooftop, it has improved their health condition greatly. The state also acquired about 100 units of the household stove and deployed them in some households within MENA. The essence is for us to establish the energy requirement of the households in MENA, which will now inform a wider state approach in terms of deployment. Already, the site has been allocated to the Ministry for the Development of the Factory through the Niger State Industrial Park Development Agency. We have a specific locations where a clusters of industries will be established and the stove is one of the focal projects on that site. Women are being empowered through women-led organizations to distribute and use the stove.